Hello everyone. Kinetic performance exposes its performer or its performers. I chose this title for the episode today. That's because suddenly, once more again, I found some people talking about the hidden life of Queen Cleopatra, the relationship with her husbands and the people around her, and some hidden points in her life. It is weird for me because how people reach at this point actually uh, and how they found this very easy like this way which is very strange little bit anyway in this episode i will talk with you about how we can understand these hidden points actually but through the art i mean the dance art last time i explained to you two different types uh, or two different styles of dancing during the life of uh, Queen Cleopatra in this period long ago. And uh, one of them is true, exactly had happened. And the other one, it is an imagination, but the story had happened. But the dance itself, it's an imagination of someone. Of course, I will not go through, but you understand everything about it. Today, I will explain to you some points about these two types of dancing to let you understand how kinetic performance exposes its performer and how the society can think like this way to do something like that. The first type of dance, what uh, we call it Pyrrhic dance, and of course it belongs to Greece, as I told you. Before I start, I have to thank Mr. Achar NK. He sent me exactly, explained to me exactly what is the meaning of this word and the nowadays dancers, and this has helped me a lot, of course. Thank you very much for this, Mr. Achar NK. Uh, he told me that uh, the Peric word, it means move above fire, which it is close exactly to the meaning of the dance or the old meaning of the dance, as we can say something like this. Uh, this dance, as I told you before, or as I explained before, it was belongs to the soldier or, yes, the soldiers in this time, long ago, uh, they were performed like this way or acted like this way to emphasize the triumph uh, through the battles or after the battles. And uh, they want to show you exactly what had happened during the time of the battle long ago. And also, uh, they used it later as, you can say, exercise for the soldiers to let them know exactly how they can move uh, through fighting and these points like this way. Of course, uh, throughout history, this type of dance changed it because of the society, because of the collective thought in the society. These movements, which I always say that can change throughout history, uh, depends on several reasons. One of these reasons, the time, long time, of course, we use it, and of course, the collective thought in the society when changing uh, the way of dancing to something else in the end. But the root or the main core of uh, this type of steps is still the same as we uh, know exactly if we uh, started or if we studied write well, correct the history. So for this reason, if we compare between nowadays this type of dance now and the old time when they began this dance old, uh, long ago, immediately we will find that something strange or something missing or something like that, but really not because nowadays Greek Greece is not in a fight and this type of dance since long time. So the time change it exactly uh, the way of people thinking and also the story change it so in the past they will do it like this with sword and uh, hand in hands and uh, they move in the front and back sides both sides which is still the same both sides and hand in hands is still the same but now there is no shield and uh, and, uh, and sword something changed and became looks like nice much more than before, no blood. And if I 
take it like this way and I say that these people long ago they were doing like this way and I have to keep it as it is exactly it will not stay for good why because people changing as I told you in the past people were maybe looking for blood or looking for fight they are fighters they are aggressive so they were doing like this way but people change it throughout history and their minds change it. the movements of their bodies changed exactly also to be something completely different than the past but it's still something from the past uh, with us it is like this way so the dancing or the folk dancing can changing throughout history because the collective thought changing also uh, within the society or in the society. Many researchers sometimes they using this wrong way when they judging people, the old people or the old generations through their minds, which it is completely wrong because people now they are using uh, new methods and new theories and sometimes they think that this is the correct theories uh, and the past was wrong. This is very strange for me, weird, yes, also for me. Why? Because I didn't, or these researchers, they didn't live in this time. They were not living this time. So how they understood uh, the collective thought of the society in this time, people's mind in this time. Sometimes we say that it is, uh, I mean, for the beginning of life, uh, people are human in beginning of life, or this life long ago, was savage ages. It is very strange how I judge it like this way uh, without know exactly how these people live in this time. How, how is their life? How was their life in this time? If you think clearly, you will find immediately that these people, what they did exactly, it belongs to their life, to their dates, to their time. And they do something like that because they, ha they, they, they need to live more or to protect themselves against something or something like that. So they did something like this way or they thinking like this way. It is the same also with the people in uh, many places all over the world 200 years ago or 400 years ago or whatever. Let me tell you that if we think that our life now is the best life we live in, we are completely wrong because maybe 200 years later or 500 years later, maybe 1,000 years later, someone will come and say that we live in a savage age or in a wrong time or we did a lot of wrong things. It is like that because life changing all the time and our minds, yes, also our thoughts and our minds changing also through the time. So this is exactly cannot help us when we're going to judge uh, people, old people, old generation by our minds, by our methods. So we have to be careful when we're going to do something like that. I, I feel that people of course, who they judged the life of Queen Cleopatra by this way, they are wrong because they don't know exactly what was in her mind at this time. They thinking by their minds and they judging by their minds what she did in this time long ago. It is very strange, yes, actually. This is the point what I'm talking about in this episode. Dancing can let me, or the body movements, these movements we are using can let me understand exactly how these people think and how this type of dancing, type of step dancing, changed throughout history until it comes to us. In the past, people, they were much more lazy. Let me say something like this. They were not move faster, same like us now. Our life now become much more faster than before. So also it's reflected uh, to our life reflected to our movement so we move much more faster than before even the music everything around us became faster than before which has its own impact to our life changed our life so how we can judge people long ago what they did and what they made i can't judge the old generation's life unless it has an special impact to my life if my life have something wrong or let me sad or made me sad all the time or something 
had happened uh, changed my life for the bad uh, way or something like this. So I can judge them. But without this, how can I judge them without understanding why they did something like that? This is another point, very important point I have to keep in mind when I'm going to judge the old generations.